I wanted to quickly go over what I eat in a typical day. This is for Sumaya Khan, one of my viewers. I apologize if I mispronounced your name. And um, I'll just go over it really quickly. Uh, for breakfast, every day I eat four eggs. And I typically eat breakfast around 1.30 or 2 p.m. And then later on, around 5.30, 6 o'clock, um, really whenever I feel hungry again, I will eat my main meal, which is um, it consists of a large salad. So I chop up one heart of romaine lettuce and put it in a three-quart huge stainless steel bowl. And that's my base. And then I will just saute onions, garlic, mushrooms, and then either cabbage or broccoli or cauliflower, whatever I have or whatever I'm in the mood for. I'll throw that all in a pan with some olive oil and I'll just lightly saute those vegetables. And I pour the vegetables on top of the salad so it kind of wilts the lettuce. And um, I like to eat cooked vegetables mo mostly because um, it helps with the absorption and digestion and the body can absorb more nutrients that way. And then I will pick a protein, so either a can of sardines to go with that salad or sockeye salmon or some kind of organ meat such as beef liver or beef heart and that will be my protein source and then I mash one large whole avocado I put that in the salad and I put about one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in the salad as well and then I squeeze some mustard because I like the taste of mustard and I also it's very nutritious and then I'll just season it to taste with um, cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes because I like spice and um, that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else. On any given night too, I'll add pumpkin seeds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, or sesame seeds to my salad. It's really, or olives, or all of them. It's really what I'm in the mood for and how hungry I am. And so like I said, it's a big three-quart stainless steel. It's actually a mixing bowl for baking, but I use it for my salad bowl because I eat a huge salad every day with basically everything except for the kitchen sink in it. So um, yeah, and then after dinner, I'll usually have like an ounce of dark chocolate or um, whatever treat I feel like eating that day. If it's a, you know, baked sweet potato or, you know, I like Japanese sweet potatoes. So sometimes I'll eat that as a dessert or some blackberries, um, like a cup of blackberries. Um, yeah, just whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever's in season or if, you know, if I don't feel like having anything because I'm too full from dinner, that happens often too. Um, but yeah, and other foods I include um, are sauerkraut, which I make myself. I make kimchi, homemade kimchi. Um, these are foods that I, again, add to my salad. I treat my salad like the main, well, it is my main meal, but I treat my salad like that's my nutrient nutrient bomb for the day. So that's where I'm getting all my nutrients basically. And um, besides my breakfast, which like I said is four eggs and that doesn't change. I just, it's easy, it's simple and it helps me perform optimally. So I don't change that. It's been working for me um, great, just four eggs. And I soft boil them. So I boil them for like two and a half minutes on the stove and they're perfect with the yolk still runny, uh, which is what I prefer. And that's about it that I can think of. I drink black coffee in the morning and throughout the rest of the day I drink green tea and water and that's it. And I can't really think of anything else. I don't take supplements. Um, I get my nutrients from my food. So if you have specific questions, um, you can comment down below, but I really like to keep my diet very simple and um, very regular because that in turn keeps my life simple and regular <laughs> and I prefer that and it, it, the foods that I eat help me perform optimally they keep me functioning well mentally physically emotionally and um, they serve me well so I would say yeah I, I eat mindfully and I eat purposefully and when I want to indulge in something I don't ignore my cravings I definitely you know I believe that every food serves a purpose. So there's no such thing as a bad or a good food. I don't like to attach morality to food anymore. 
because food can't hurt me, so it can't be bad. Um, and there are foods that are more nutritious and more purposeful and more appropriate to eat depending on my goals. But that being said, I, I won't deny myself something that I feel like eating because I just, I want to satisfy that craving. If it's a mental craving or even an emotional craving, within reason, I give in to that because I think it's important, at least for me, in my experience, it's important that I don't um, ignore my body's signals and my body's desires, so I don't. I definitely listen to my body and I eat very mindfully. Um, and that would be my advice to you watching this and I don't want to tell anyone else how to eat or what to eat ever because food is such a personal thing diet is such an individual thing based on needs and preferences tastes and um, body composition and all of that age so but I would say you know be mindful chew your food completely eat slowly eat in a peaceful calm environment if you can and um, bless the food before you eat it um, be grateful. Gratitude is very important too. That food is going to go in and nourish the body and um, God willing sustain life. <laughs> so um, that's that's about it. So I hope Sumaya Khan, I hope that answers your question basically. And um, if any of you have more detailed questions or a question about a specific food, leave it in the comments below and I will reply to your comment. Thank you for watching.